Sir, you look like you're not having a good time. What's wrong? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not funny enough for you. You're not laughing either. Are you guys together? Did you come together? Brother? Not together, together. Relax. Like, are you in the norm? I'm not gay. How could you? <laughs> Who's older? You're older? He's older? You look older. <laughs> You're older? You got good hair, man. White friends invited me over for dinner. There was no food. <laughs> and there was no seasoning to be seen in sight. They boiled some chicken and handed it to me. I was like, what is this? What am I supposed to do with this? And, you know, I went into the kitchen and Armenianized it and added some flavor. You go to an Armenian person's house? Bro, buffet, chorovats, every style. Dessert. You get a five-course meal, and then they put you a to-go-away box, and then you send it home. And then they call you the next day to see if you liked it. Armenian moms are so dedicated to getting their kids married. I think all immigrant parents do this. If you do not get married, I will not rest. Why? I got the rest of my life to be the first. Is that too real? My parents still don't speak English, man. My mom, she's like, I speak perfect English in my mind. And my dad, um, very broken English, but you know what he would do? He would drag me with him to the bank at like six years old to translate documents. I didn't know how to read it. You know what I'm saying? And then we would go to like, you know, car dealerships together, and he's cussing the guy out, and he's like, translate. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think I can say that, Dad. So he's not interested. Sorry. I used to get anxiety diarrhea every time I went on a date. That's fun. Does that happen to you? You're on a date like, excuse me, excuse me. Bubble guts. Do we have any Armenian dads in the house? Yeah, yeah go to therapy! <laughs> Wash Ziploc bags, reuse them. <laughs> Disposable forks, yeah. One time I opened it and it was in the dishwasher. What are we doing? Because the dishwasher is a dish rack, right? We're not allowed to use that. One time I made the mistake of having a diary. <laughs> Swear to God, this is a true story. I wrote in my diary, I was like, man, my family's driving me crazy. They're so stupid. Why won't they leave me alone? And the next day, I turned the page, and they wrote me back. <laughs> One of my brothers wrote me back, and he's like, it's because you're a fat loser, and you're adopted. 